And finally, some sad news. Frankie Walsh, the last Waterford man to lift the Lee McCarthy, has died at the age of 76. Walsh was captain when Waterford beat Kilkenny to take the All-Ireland hurling title after a replay in 1959. He died after a short illness. Mr. De Valier, the president of the country, came over and he said, I thought you'd go for more goals. And I said, uh, take the pints and the goals he come. So that's why the smile came on his face. So I always say about 59, we hadn't a cup even for 12 months. We only had it for 11 months. <laughs> and that is Up to a thousand mourners have attended the funeral of Waterford hurling legend Frankie Walsh, the 76-year-old captain Waterford to the last All-Ireland senior hurling title in 1959, beating Kilkenny in a replayed final. Here's the final score of the game. Frank Walsh beats Patty Buggy to score a superb point from the touch. Frankie Walsh, or Welsh as he was known locally, scoring the last of his eight points in the 1959 replay in which Waterford beat Kilkenny. The Mount Sion clubman died after a short illness and his funeral, which took place at the Holy Family Church in the city, was attended by many former and current inter-county players. The president of the GA, Liam O'Neill, also attended. Those who hurled with Frankie on that great 1959 team say he was a born leader. Frankie was a small man in stature. But he was really seven foot tall. He was just condensed. All round you couldn't get better. That's why we were calling the nettle. If you were rubbed off me, he'd sting you. <laughs> the congregation heard parish priest Father Tom Rogers say Frankie Walsh's life on the field and in the workplace touched a huge amount of people and made a difference to their lives. And that people certainly depend on and look up to heroes of the past to keep them going, especially when starved or vile Ireland's. Members of Mount Sion and many Waterford officials and players gave him a guard of honour as he was brought to his final resting place. Damien Tiernan, RT News, Waterford.